Today I share with you the best three photography viewpoints I found in Jerusalem, Israel. Ciao belli, I hope this video finds you well and safe. In case you're planning to visit Jerusalem in Israel and you want to take nice cityscape photography, then this is the vlog for you. In January 2020, I stayed in the city for five days for some work and these are the places I found with the best view. Number one, Mount of Olives. Situated on the east side of Jerusalem and named for its olive groves that once covered uh, the slopes, this is definitely the best viewpoint if you want to take wide angles of the old city. I used to walk there from the old town and the walk took me around 40-45 minutes. It is a lovely walk also because you can see a lot of cultural and historical places um, including the Garden of Gethsemane, the Church of All Nations and the Jewish Cemetery. 20 minutes to go to reach the Mount of Olives. We are passing uh, very close to the Gethsemane Garden where Jesus got betrayed by Judas and we actually saw a couple of days ago with the Church of England and also the All Nation, the Church of All Nations. Walking up the hill towards the Mount of Olives, this is the uh, Jewish cemetery, the biggest Jewish cemetery here in Jerusalem. It dates 3,000 years more or less. That's when the Jews started to bury their dead. And also this is the cemetery facing Jerusalem as well. And basically when the Messiah will come again, the dead will rise and then we walk into Jerusalem. Woo! I actually go one level down because uh, the graveyard is quite uh, moving so we might get some of that in shot with all the Jerusalem in the background and uh, the clouds moving quite moody. Super freezing now, I'm going down, walking down towards my uh, studio. Oh, it's raining, great. Um, so yeah, Mount of Olives, it's really worth, I think, coming even at this time of the day. It's 5.30, it's really dark, but the lights in Jerusalem are amazing. So if you come here for sunset and then you stay another half an hour, I think that's, that's really good. Number two, Aisha Torah World Center. Situated in the heart of the old town of Jerusalem, this is the best part to take shots and time lapses of the western wall and also you have a good view of the Dome of the Rock. Lost in the Jewish quarter of Jerusalem, let's start the day looking for the Aisha Torah World Center where I can grab, uh, from where I can grab a nice shot of the western wall, possibly a bit higher, so to, from a terrace or so. Uh, yeah, let's, let's find out. Just explore the Jewish uh, quarter guys, it's amazing. Uh, you've got the view here of the Mount of Olives as well. Really cool alleys. And here we go, this is the building guys. You pay 15 shekels to go to the rooftop if you want to grab a photo of the uh, Dome of the Rock and the city. Let's go. Okay guys, if you come here, then you need to sign in, pay 15 shekels. They only give you 20 minutes to stay, to stay here for 15 shekels. Wow, look at the view. If you stay longer, you're gonna pay 50 shekels. So that's because other people were coming here for free and then sell them for a thousand pounds somewhere <laughs> on stock footage oh wow that's the we are on top of the western wall there it is <laughs> definitely a very good view so worth coming let's take the photos we've got 20 minutes we're now on top of the observatory deck the view is amazing guys you definitely need to visit jerusalem you need a lot of time here so i definitely recommend a week there's so much history and culture and things to explore photography wise and video wise as well wow it's never ending so definitely recommend uh, Jerusalem just now doing a time lapse uh, we got 15 minutes left so let's make the most out of it I'm gonna use the 60 millimeter now for a wide angle and then I'm gonna zoom in with a 7200 maybe on the dome or on the people praying down there oh man I wish I had more time number three viewpoint over the market now I don't really remember the exact location but there's a uh, link of the location in the description, more or less, you will find it there. If I'm not wrong, at the bottom of Ararat Street. 
if you ask to the local in the market, I'm sure they will direct you to the right place. That's what happened to me. I think I found the viewpoint. If we go here on the, this balcony. And of course there's no tourists. <laughs> oh wow, is the place. This is amazing guys. Over there, that's the Mount of Olives. This is a great spot if you want to do some photography, I guess, from the top. Wow, there's kids running around. This is a great parkour spot again. So we are above the market. Oh, we were there before. Usual tip, guys. Always, always explore. Go in places where no one goes, where you find the best photography spots and, you know, hidden alleys, all the kind of stuff like this. So keep this location in mind when you visit Jerusalem and let me know when you post your photos on social media as I'm very curious to see what happened. Please leave a comment here below if you liked the video, hit the subscribe button and if you did, I will see you in the next video for sure. God bless you, thanks for watching. Ciao belli! Seems all good times